Hello, I'm Kelly Holm, a professional executive coach, and you're about to watch this work in action. I'll be coaching Steve, who is a COO, and although I've known Steve casually for a couple of years, and he has worked with other coaches, this will be our first time working together. So, so welcome, Steve, and uh, delighted to have an opportunity to work together. And tell me a little bit about what's most important for us to focus on today. Yeah, thank you, Kelly. It's great to be here with you in this in this setting. Um, and what's what's most important for me today is um, is in my role as chief operations officer. We're we're in the in the place of of entering this fourth quarter of 2020 and beginning to do our planning for 2021. And I I have many different responsibilities, and I'm I'm wrestling with myself in, in what's the way that, that I show up maybe differently, maybe the same. I'm not sure yet. However, um, there's a, there's a place for me to, um, to have a greater impact in the organization mm -hmm. and therefore the people that we work with in 2021. Okay, so you're wrestling with, it sounds like you're wrestling with this. What are you wrestling with? Like, what's the push-pull? It's, uh, do, I, do I keep doing what I'm doing, the way that I'm doing it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and continue to get the same result? Uh, I, I'm not exactly happy with that. I want something okay. more. And ah. so, so what's the something more? And then what's the way that I would be showing up differently in order to achieve that something more. Yeah, something more. Okay. So, yeah, what what makes this important to you right now? I, I think it has something to do with um, where I'm at in my life. Okay. It's uh, there's some there's some. Um, there was a point in time where I said, okay, when I get to be 55, I'm going to retire and I'll never need to work again in my life. And then I found coaching and, and I found this career and I said, okay, this is too much fun. There's no way that I'm going to not yeah. be doing this. And, mm -hmm. and we're sitting here at 63, going to be approaching 65 and, and then seven. And it's just like, I want to cause more. Cause more. Okay. So, so it sounds like you really love this work and, and both it, all the different hats you wear and, and the, the field you're in, what, what would more look like? Like, what have you explored so far? I've, I've explored, um, Yeah, you're very, I have many roles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, a course leader, a mentor coach, uh, just completed coaching supervision. There's, so there's many roles in the profession of coaching that I fill and, and there's the role of COO, which, which in our current organization structure has multiple roles under it, um, responsible for the human resource and, and the finance. Wow. And there's, there's, so there's all of that internally. Mm-hmm. And, and I just, I know with, I believe, a very similar amount of effort, mm -hmm. I and the organization that I'm part of could be having a greater impact in the world. Okay. So this sounds pretty meaningful to you. Like I, I almost felt a little bit of emotion behind when you were starting to talk about that. It's, um, I, I, I recount the, um, or I, I reflect back on just last night, the, the presidential debate that happened in yeah. the United States. Yeah, and I'm going, and what if, and what if a coaching mindset showed up on that stage last night? Ah. Uh, hmm. and, and can we cause that to happen? Can I be part of causing that to happen? Wow. Yeah. 
yeah. this is this is a this is big enough and important enough for me to say I'm going to keep doing this work. Wow. Wow. So, okay. So let's let's explore this. Uh, and, and I and I feel the passion behind even how you're describing this and how you're shifting in your seat. Like, let's dive in. So, so where do you want to go with this of exploring more? What what more could look like? And maybe that's where I get stuck, Kelly. Uh, yeah. um, it's pretty clear to me about a way that things could be. Maybe the place to explore is, is what's the focus of my effort, of my energy, of my mm -hmm. activity mm -hmm. in the next three months for sure, as we build our, as we update our five-year plan and build our, our 2021 plan, what's the, where do I focus my attention and energy over the next three months mm -hmm. in, yeah. in taking the next step for us, for me as a person and for us as an organization. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you did say it was a little bit more about how you show up, how you want to show up differently. Mm -hmm. And so over the time frame of the next three months, um, I'm wondering if it'd be helpful to zoom forward for a minute. And if we were looking back, so let's say we're in January, February, 2021, and you're looking back, what do you want to be able to say about how you showed up? I want to be able to say I brought all of me. All of you. There was, here's a, here's a, here's a knot. There was nothing held back. <laughs> <That's> the, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I brought all of me. I, um, I brought a balance of, of, um, of my intellect and my heart and my passion. Intellect, so heart, and passion. To the work that we're going to do over the next three months. Okay. I can tend to get very cerebral and thinking-ish. <laughs> you and I are similar in that way, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So head and heart and you said passion. Mm -hmm. And maybe heart and passion are, are in the same genre there. Okay. So... I'm just curious, where would you say you are on the continuum now as far as bringing all of it? I've done a lot of thinking. I've done a lot of reading. I've done a lot of, um, over the last month, two months, um, Which I, which I think in doing that has brought forth, um, has, has served to bring forth the passion, to bring clarity mm -hmm. to what, what the future is that I want to create. Um, so, so we're on the continuum. Um, maybe the way to describe that is, is it's like, um, 80% thinking and 20% passion. And, and I think over the next um, couple months, it's at a minimum, it's a 50 50. Okay. So bringing up the passion part to at least 50. So they're more balanced. That's the yes. Ideally is that okay. Okay. And so uh, what what would be helpful to walk out of the room with today? There's at least one approach, one mm -hmm. strategy, one mm -hmm. one thing to grab hold of to to 
cause that shift to happen. Okay. To go from the 80, 20 to the 50, 50, 50, 50. Okay. And it sounds like reading and studying some of these things has made it more clear. So what, what's more clear to you now? What's more clear is the need. The need to, to <laughs> dial that up. <laughs> the, 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 the need to make that shift so that because I, because I believe that in making that shift, yeah. um, the result will cause the impact, the positive impact that I wanted to have. Yeah. And what, what's an example of that positive impact you want to have? Um, it's... Um, Well, so the, the coaching mindset exists in, in our families, in our communities. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's the conversation that happens at the dinner table when pre-COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's, part of, maybe yeah, that's yeah. part of the challenge here, that it, that okay. it, it comes from a place of, of when the when when the family members are having a discussion that it's a, from a place of curiosity and, and wanting to learn more mm. and it's contrasted with, this is my position and let me justify it. Ah. And hence the connection perhaps to what we observed last night. Hence the uh, connection to what, <laughs> some of what happened last night yeah. on, on, the, on the national stage. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like, this dialing this up it's it's not so much about just work it sounds like it's more about how you want to be in the world i'd say yes and um and because of where i'm at in my career and in my life there's there's little separation between the way I am at work and the way that I am in the world. Mm. And how does that connect with what we're talking about as far as your, your goal? It's, 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 um, because there is a little exception, it's a direct, it's a direct connection that, um, that the way that I show up at work is the way that I show up elsewhere. Mm. And so the, I said the, the the ripple effect or the collateral effect or the of uh, shifting the way that I am at work will show itself up in in my personal life. And is that is that what you want? And that's a good that's a good thing. Okay. That's a very okay. good thing. I, yeah. I, I um, there was a time where okay I'm at work and so this is the way that I'm at work and now I'm not. Yeah. So this is the way that I'm, and that's just so much work and effort and energy and it's like it's so wasted too. Mm. So, so from going from this compartmentalized, even how you show up and the, the separation of the head and heart and passion, it, it, you're wanting to not work so hard. You're wanting it to be more seamless or what's the right frame? So there was a working hard to keep those compartmentalized yeah. and over the last yeah. few years, that's gone away. Oh, it has gone away. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, um, yes. Yeah. So it can't help but. I see. Come into all of my life. Got it. So working on this in yep. your work environment is going to have the ripple effect Absolutely. in all parts of your life. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You mentioned the dinner table. Okay. So is there, is there like a specific example we could think through that would be helpful? A specific example, um, I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> I know, and I'm noticing that I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, nice. So, so what's the, uh, the, what does your gut um, say? Yeah. What's my gut <laughs> say about this specific example? Yes. Um, I, I 
think the place for us just to explore today would be the the way that I am in relation with the people that I lead. Okay. So in the work environment, the relationship you have with the people you lead. So, so what, what about that do you want us to dive deeper into? So there's, there is a tendency right now to, uh, I'd say like 80% of the time <laughs> it's task. It's, um, it's a sauna plans. It's, um, where are we at? Mm -hmm. It's what have we done? Who needs help? It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's very operational. Mm -hmm. Chief operations officer. Sure. Yeah. 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 Um, not, not so surprising. Easy, yeah. Easy to do. Okay. okay. And what's the way to integrate into that process? Mm -hmm. but more, of, more of what are we doing this for? So the why behind this, mm -hmm. the why, okay. And, and so how, how have you explored that so far? Like what, what's even a toe in the water that you've started doing? There, there have been moments of, and why are we doing this? Mm -hmm. Were you explicitly asked the yeah. question? Yeah. yeah. And that's that. Though that is, that is very. Uh, oh, uh, oh. We. It feels like we ought to ask, why are we doing this? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not. Uh, it's not a. A seamless, a natural. Um, uh, and so maybe that's where it needs to start. Is with the. Feels like we've lost sight of why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here comes that question, and then. It's like, okay, I did it. And now I can not for a while. Almost. <laughs> Check. <laughs> did that part. <laughs> it's not at all the way that I want it to be. <laughs> okay. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that you're wanting to be a little bit more intentional or deliberate or consistent. You said uh, something around flow. So let's talk a little bit about perhaps how you even start some of the, are they meetings? Are they one-on-ones? Like what's the, the forum and how might you frame how you lead through those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, um, it's a weekly, it's with the entire team. Okay. Um, it's, um, and it, and it begins with what's on the schedule. Hmm. So where does your head or heart go when you ask that question? It begins with, so by beginning with that, it goes right to here. Okay. Um, sure. Okay. So what are you noticing right now? I am noticing that. all the inspiration and the excitement and the passion around what I want to cause just went flat. Mm -hmm. As I think about starting a meeting with schedule. Yeah. Yeah. It felt like it was a little smirk on your face, even as you said it, but you're just feeling the energy drain out. It's, it's just, I yeah. feel myself settled down deeper into the chair and uh, the, the heaviness and the, in the bottom of the chair and, mm -hmm. and, Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a realization that, well, um, why the heck wouldn't it go to the thinking place? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, if that's the appetizer or if that's the, <laughs> that's the, the come back to the kitchen table or the, <laughs> the dining table. Right? Yeah. If, if that's the first, first place we start. Mm hmm. Um, then it's somewhat, it's in a, it's in a recovery place or a shift place from the very, from the very beginning. Yeah. 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 No, great, great, great observation, Steve. So I noticed you're taking a couple of notes. I'll wait. Thank you. It's, yeah. Yeah. 
it's what I know about myself from meeting these sessions. Which is? If it doesn't get written down. <laughs> if I trust myself, okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. Were you able to capture it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, I, I, yeah, such, such a great observation of just noticing where your own energy went. And, and that sort of somatic sense of my feeling the weight in my chair. How do you want to feel? Or what's the feeling you want to exude when you're starting those sessions, those meetings? I want to start those meetings like I started this one. Okay. Uh, with anticipation, with, um, with excitement, with with curiosity about where we might end up yeah. uh, with um, there's a, Hmm, I don't know. I don't know where we're going to go. I don't know yeah. what I might find. I don't know. I don't. Um, and I know that that's not where I start. I know that here's what we're going to look at and here's what you're going to review. And here's what we're most ah. likely going to There's a, there's a mindset of, of um, let me, let's have an hour long conversation with my group so I can have, confirm what I already think I know almost. Yeah. Interesting. And I know that I have made myself little notes beforehand of things that I want to be paying attention to and listening for to to make sure that we talk about mm -hmm. with with the team you mean yeah, yeah. okay and what happens to so, those so yeah. so yeah so that's it's we get this and we've got that and now let me check my list and what do we oh yes we talked about that we thought oh we haven't talked about this yet and so who, who has something to say about mm -hmm. x mm -hmm. not exactly bringing forth my inspiration and passion for the work that we're doing. Okay. Almost, almost to come back to the dining room table, almost in a, I'm noticing now in a parent child. Ah. Have you done your chores? Have you? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're, so you're a COO at home too, huh? Uh, <laughs> he was. <laughs> They're all out on their own, via their own. Place. <laughs> um. <laughs> hmm. Oh, such such great great observations, Steve. Um, and, and when we we started this conversation, you talked about this eighty twenty and wanting to dial up at least get to the 50-50 place. Um, if we think about the frame of the meetings, the weekly meetings, what would be a couple of ideas of things you could experiment with to start the meetings with that dialed up? Uh, I think there's a place before it starts Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of my mindset mm -hmm. and my here we are where we started of, and my way of showing up yeah e even in the context of it, if should the agenda not change at all there's there's the there's the way that i am showing up from a peer place from an adult to adult place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We go to transactional analysis and that yeah. that stuff creeps in here of, of what's my place to come from that is adult to adult. Yeah. So shifting your mindset mm -hmm. and how you're showing up before you even enter the meeting. Because mm -hmm. I, I mm -hmm. and that, that would be first. Yeah. 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 And, and see what happens. Oh. Even in the same structure that we currently have. So kind of experiment with see what shifts mm -hmm. just doing that. Okay, cool. 
And then based on that, I, I am imagining there will be a shift in the, in the content. Hmm. And I so, want to try the mindset first. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. It's very cool. Uh, no matter how much I want it to be about someone else, it comes back to me. <laughs> That's kind of a funny thing. <laughs> so, so how are we doing so far on on where you wanted us to go today, and where might we go next? I think I have my one and and maybe a a two. However, I'm going to wait and see about the two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start with the one. Okay. So, what can we do today to help you set the stage for that? For I'm assuming the one is the mindset shift. Yes, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. What will I, th I, I think the next thing for me to do when we're done is to trans is to take my notes and put them into um, my way of, of cataloging that and keeping it and um, putting it where it'll it'll be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which which I'm really good about. Okay. I, I got that. So. Yeah, that, that part's easy. Okay. <laughs> Can I just challenge you for one moment on that? Sure. How does that help you get into your heart and into your passion, that, that habit you have? It allocates the time. Okay. To create the space. Yeah. To be able to do it. Okay. In the, in the absence of of allocating that time and that space, mm -hmm. I'll default to what's habitual. Got it. Okay. Okay. So you have a process for protecting the time, and then then what? Yeah. And I can access my heart. Yeah. And okay. access that mindset shift, given the allocation of the time. Mm -hmm. So creating the space for that, the time, and then what? The space and the time and going through the process of accessing the heart. Okay. Accessing that and creating that mindset shift before mm -hmm. the meeting starts. Mm -hmm. And so is there any particular practice or something thing you want to do to access your heart to be more deliberate about that? There's a there's a four step breathing process mm -hmm. that that I'm familiar with that works for me that um, that opens that up mm -hmm. very cool and, and the key step to causing that to happen <laughs> is to is to um allocating the time for it to happen yeah okay so what's up to get in your way so you have the, you have some steps and a common approach. So what if suddenly one day you don't have the time or mm. something else gets in the way? Well, there is all, there is the continued growth of noticing that internally in the moment, much like happened in our session here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you were able to feel and sense what's what was happening and bring that forth. Yeah. Which is becoming more and more skilled at accessing that and noticing it. Nice. Okay. So that's the backup. Okay. <laughs> the backup system. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And is there anything else you need to support you in doing this or a way you want to hold yourself? accountable or anything like that, Steve, that will help. I don't think so, Kelly. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling really good about this. Are you? Okay. 
Cool. All right. Well, it, uh, it, in terms of next steps, I would love to hear how this goes for you, Steve. And is there anything in particular you want to circle back to when we connect again? What you want to be able to say? I did what I said I was going to do, and and here's what I now know. <laughs> here's what I'm now aware of. <laughs> that's what I'll that's what I'll have for you with the next time we connect. Okay. <laughs> Great. Well, I, I look forward to it, Steve. And, and thank you again for uh, being willing to, to share our session today with, with our YouTube audience. And uh, appreciate our viewers for watching. Is there anything you want to say uh, as a parting thoughts here, Steve? Uh, thank you. I enjoy you. And, um, and, and coaching works, folks. <laughs> <laughs> It was really, really fun. Thank you so much, Steve. And and if anyone's interested in working with an executive coach, uh, please check out uh, invitechange.com. And again, thank you for tuning in and take good care. Bye for now. Bye.